Hello, hello, hello. Hey, this is Rob Rosa. Hopefully your favorite real estate broker. Just reaching out to you to say hello, hello. And I, my friends, am looking forward to an awesome Memorial Day weekend. It's Friday, May 22nd. Hopefully you are too, my friends. And today I have some very interesting information to go over with you. Here we are in Connecticut, central Connecticut. You know, many of us live in Hartford County, but remember with the information that I have here for you today, not only are you able to get that um, for Hartford County, but you're able to get it for your exact town right? You're able to get it for your exact home. You're able to get it for your neighborhood. And I have a little link down there, homepricechange.com. Again, go to www.homepricechange.com and you'll get that instant information. And then you and I could talk more if you want to. There's no hassle, there's no obligation. But listen, I have market, real market information for you here today to go over with you. So let me pull up that screen. Please drop me comments. Um, please share this. Please make uh, questions if you want. I'll be on the lookout here. And if I see something, most of the time I get them. Some of the times I don't, but I will definitely reach out back for you. All right, so let's go over our market report, my friends. So it's just gonna take me um, a second or two to pull this up. And then um, we will get started on this. So I'm gonna do a little screen share with you. Bear with me. All right, so we only got a couple of slides here. I know many of you get bored with these slides. So that's why I hear Rob Rose, a Central Connecticut Real Estate Report. Get local expert information to help you. So where are we standing? Well, we're up to here, weekending 516. I don't have a weekending 523 yet. I'll have that for you next week. And I like to do this by week because I find that it's so interesting. We'll take a look at the homes that are selling per week here in Hartford County, single family homes. We're still maintaining. Um, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we had a big push there. And I think it was kind of like be because of the end of the month and great things were happening at the end of the month. Um, but now, you know, and it went down a little bit. We could see we're right there about the average, right? We're at 166 homes that sold uh, week ending 516 here in Hartford County. But guess what? We need more inventory. We need more homes. If you're thinking about selling, we have virtual tours. We have professional photography, video. We have tons of ways in which we can help you. So you don't have to be nervous about it. You don't have to be scared about it. We'll handle it for you. We're the professionals every step of the way and make it easy for you. And we will also deal with your comfort zone. That is very, very important as well. All right. Single family homes, average sold by week in 2020. Average price, right? So we had a little bump there, man. I was like, wow, average price, $296,920 a couple weeks back there. Actually, that was week ending uh, May 9th. And now we're kind of back down to the two seventy four, four ninety four, dollars where, you know, about $275,000 range. But you can see over the course of the year, since I decided to start doing this in the uh, first week ending of January, we're above that. I mean, we were probably, that was probably about 257,000. Well, now we're at about 275,000. So things are remaining strong. The values are there if you're thinking about sell that pro selling that property. Little bit trickiness here. Number of pending transactions by week. So you see here, the number has gone down just a little bit. You know, now we're at 105. We're actually under the, um, the trend line, right? number of pending transactions. So if you were to go into the multiple listing service or you were to go into um, Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, I didn't say go to Zillow, right? Or HomeSnap, you're gonna see that there actually are less that are pending, which are under deposit, continue to show. Closing times are improving slightly, but remember, you're still gonna wanna be working with experienced people, people that can help you out every step of the way because they are the ones who are going to be able to get you to that next step, which kind of comes into play here. 
days on market, okay? How many homes do we have that have been on the market between zero and 30 days? There's 86 of them. That's not too bad. I mean, you know, things are a little bit tighter as far as getting these loans done, but they're still working out. Homes that are on the market between 31 and 60 days, 27 of them. It's about, it's about average, give or take, right? Um, and then 53 that are on the market over 60 days, right? Um, standards to get loans um, are getting are increasing in some lenders. And some lenders I'm talking to, they're saying, hey, we just went down on what we need for a credit score. Another lender I talked to says, hey, we need more money for, um, you know, as far as um, down payment. Another one I talked to says the uh, debt to income has to be better. And there's a lot of different things. So work on your credit repair. Save that money for a great down payment. If you need help with credit repair, if you need to talk to somebody about getting the basics, because I'm not the Mr. Financial Advisor, but if you want the basics and what to do with your credit, how to save up the money for the down payment, we can do that. And of course, you want to get a longer rate lock. Sellers, use our repair program, Pinnacle. You might feel like you need to get some work done on this house before you put it on the market. Well, guess what? We can help you get that done. And you don't have to come out with any money out of your pocket. There's no hidden fees. There's no hidden costs. You pay at the closing and be prepared for some extension requests for that because that's what's really happening here in the market. And lastly, my friends, let's celebrate our veterans. I should really change that to wisdom of the weekend. That's what I should change that to. Veterans are a symbol of what makes our nation great. And we must never forget all they have done to ensure our freedom by Rodney Franklin Heisen. And I can tell you, I get a little emotional there um, because of the fact that, number one, I haven't seen my son in quite a few months, right? He's down in Fort Benning, Georgia. Shout out to Robert Mario. We love you. He's in airborne school right now. My father, he's a veteran. My uncles were veterans. My friends are veterans. And, and of course, I cannot forget to mention my grandfather, which I love to death. He was a veteran. So you know what? Put that love out there this weekend to those veterans. They really are out there on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. You know what? Working for our freedom. And you can see some of those rights right now, whether it's good or whether it's bad. And whatever it is that you're looking to do in your life and how you feel about things, there are some of those rights that are kind of being pushed to the side. Um, and again, we don't have to get into the whole wonderful world about how you feel about it, my friends. Um, but I can tell you, um, hey, Rachel, thank you so much for seeing um, great video. I can tell you that these freedoms, these rights are everything, even the fact that you can own your own home, my friends. So again, have an awesome Memorial Day weekend. God bless you. I hope that things are going absolutely amazing for you. And I will talk to you soon. Visit um, homepricechange.com. And Rob Rosa is signing out. Talk to you later.